Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Pokemon uh, Nuzlocke episode. Uh, I'm not doing a previously on because today is a training day episode. Yay! What's training day? Well, last episode, if you remember, I said something about like, oh man, I'm probably going to train up everyone to level 10. That's this episode. So it's going in super fast time as you're seeing it right now, and I'm just going to kind of talk over the specific training parts of it, um, just so you can see that, I guess... Uh, what's happening? I guess it's too going too fast. No one fainted, obviously, because if they did, I would have to do some kind of memorial service, and that would have been a bummer. Um, Jotaro has evolved into the giant mustache cricket Pokemon, um, which is good, because now he finally has a damn move. He no longer just has Bite, he has Fury Cutter, so that's good. Um, and by the end of this, everyone should be around level 10. Some others are a little bit higher, because they were helping others kind of level up. Um, Soul Rock, for example. Um, helping train the other Pokemon, because a lot of these Pokemon don't learn their good moves till way later. Like, Shinx doesn't learn an electric attack till way later, so Yaoi Mom is not going to learn her good move for quite a bit. She learns the move that charges the good move, but she doesn't have the good move. Um, same kind of goes for Raiders Fan. Raiders Fan's going to take a while before he learns Wing Attack. Um... I don't know if a Krikatot or Jotaro's ever going to learn a good move, but he at least has a move now. And obviously, um, Grazy's up in, up in this already. Full-on Grazy. So yeah, today's episode is just going to be me talking, so I hope you enjoy it. The reason it's like this is because I don't actually have time to edit a full-on episode, so I figured that you should at least see the training parts of it, because I did do that, <laughs> so... And again, keep it fair and honest and all that good stuff, so... I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to try and speak as to things to talk about. Let me... Since I'm almost positive no one's going to be watching... No, I don't want... I want to talk... You know, without without Ed going into any spoiler things, I'm just going to talk about some stuff I've been watching recently. Um, WandaVision, that's number one. Almost everyone, I think, is watching WandaVision. Don't worry, I'm not spoiling anything. If you somehow have remained unspoiled, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to say I like the direction it's going. Um, there was one episode... Um, episode four that I wasn't a big fan of for reasons everyone else liked it I didn't like it though because it broke from the specific format um a little too hard I felt and the rest have been kind of good at keeping up the thing I like so I'm with someone I don't know if you know this about me specifically because I've never said it big fan of the sitcom actually um big fan of like the old stuff I love Lucy I dream with Jeannie love that shit love like like to the point where you go like really out of all the things you love, you love that? Yeah. I really do love a lot of that old uh, cartoon stuff. And a lot of it, I think, has to deal with watching um, Nick at Night um, growing up and being like, oh, that's great. And But also having a family that was like, no, I Love Lucy is a classic. And they're right. I Love Lucy is absolutely 100% a classic. Um, I've been liking the direction it's been going. I like Vision. I think they've done an amazing job of making Wanda and Vision characters that I like. Because up until this point, they've been characters that did cool stuff, but not necessarily characters. Um, and the show, I think, is giving them a little bit more, you know, time to actually do cool stuff. Um, and it's a lot of fun, and it's, it's good visually, too. Some people have a specific, I guess, dislike of Marvel animation, but I don't, I don't really have an issue with it. Um, I can watch old 1920s King Kong, and King Kong looks funky, and I love that. I love every essence of it, so. Not really a complaint I'm here or there for, but. WandaVision, good. If you haven't checked it out, I suggest checking it out and avoiding Twitter. Because let me tell you, man, I watch that shit right when it drops, because one, I'm awake, and two, there's no way in hell. I got like a limited time before people wake up and go like, holy crap, let me tell you absolutely everything and give you my theories, and it's like... Dog, come on. And to be fair, people were doing that back in the old days, I guess, with TV watching. Um, the difference is, is that I didn't have a Twitter and I didn't talk to people about those shows unless I went up to them and say, like, hey, you watch this? Like, the last time I remember talking to someone about a show was maybe Game of Thrones. But even then I would say, yo, those boobs, right? And they go, yeah, it's fucked up what they did. Like, yeah, it was fucked up. I didn't see that shit coming. And then... In the second season of Game of Thrones happened, and I said, Yo, you see the boobs? 
and they go yeah and then you see you see them twist and i'm like yeah i kind of don't like this specific girl i hope she dies and then she never does so i eventually just stopped watching game of thrones um one of the things I watched, uh, actually while grinding the entire episode, I was watching the entirety of Judas and the Black Messiah. It's on HBO Max, it's on HBO Max for the time being. I think it disappears at a certain point. Um, it's one of those thingies where it's like, oh yeah, see it in theaters, see it on demand, whichever one you want. Um, it's a limited time on demand and theaters, I think. It was really damn good. Lakeef, um... Cleef Stanfield is, I believe, how you say his name, and the man from Get Out that I cannot remember his name right now. It's the man who wants to get out and get out. Um, he's a really good actor. Both of them are fantastic actors, because so that's why I want. I really wanted to see it. Uh, Lakeef, I, I'm a big fan of his. I love Atlanta. Atlanta is, I think, one of the greatest TV shows ever made. Um, easily one of the greatest tv shows one of the best season twos of a show ever made that's been inspired by um tiny twin adventures <laughs> um his name is daniel kulau okay the the guy i remember he's he was in that episode of black mirror he was in get out he was in sicario he's that dude in black panther he's been in a bunch of stuff um is he going to end up being... I was like, he, this guy was in Get Out, right? I'm almost positive. Yeah, he was in Get Out. Okay, thank God. Um, so the second I saw it was them two in the movie, I was like, oh, I need to see this. I think I love Lakeith and basically everything but the Death Note movie, which the Death Note movie... He would have made a... I'm going to say this right now. He would have made a good L. He's a good enough actor to be an L. He just wasn't the... He wasn't in the right... He wasn't with the right director slash writer, so he didn't actually get to do his stuff. But he was, I thought, an extremely good choice to play L because he could have easily done a lot of cool stuff with him. Um, and he gives that kind of same like gawky weirdness cool to him. Um, but again, that movie didn't work out. Death Note the movie sucks ass if you haven't seen Death Note the movie. I had a fight with um, a co-worker because he said one... Um, the Death Note anime wasn't good. And he doesn't like Death Note in general. Uh, so that was already one thing that was like, okay. Um, weird for you to be like, oh yeah, no, Death Note's bad. But then he loved that movie. He went to go see that movie. He's like, oh no, it's great. And I was like, did we watch the same goddamn movie? The movie sucks so much shit. I cannot believe that you like this. He's like, oh yeah, it's like a parody of Death Note. So I'm like, so it's a bad Death Note? He's like, yeah, but Death Note's bad. I'm like, oh, I hate you so much. You're so wrong on so many different levels that it's actively um, pissing me off. This is the same co-worker that I had an argument over <laughs> whether or not a boat was a... He was saying that a boat and a ship are the exact same thing when they're not. He was crazy, but him giving a specific Death Note notes is i think the most i've ever held something over a person because he's like oh yeah it's really good and then when we sent another person to go see the movie um he came back he's like oh it's funny because he was he's a very nice man he's like so oh did you like he's like oh no no it's 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 garbage it's it's just straight terrible i'm like okay and he i was like are you a fan of death note he's like oh no i yes i love the anime you know it's Everything about the, the anime I absolutely love. I'm like, so it just is a bad movie? He's like, oh yeah, it's terrible. I don't know what they were thinking with this. Um, it was a mistake, and it's a uh, blight to be a fan of Death Note and make this movie. And I was like, hell yeah! <laughs> Finally, someone went to go see it who had some brain in him. Because I was working, I was like, this sounds like it sucks. Like, hmm. Anyway. You should see Judas and the Black Messiah if you can. Um, it's fantastic. It's about a... Um, uh, it's a based on true events. It's about a guy who was undercover in the Black Panthers during... What is his name? I literally just watched the movie, but I cannot remember the man who was in the Black Panther. Not the Black Panther movie in the Black Panthers. Um, Fred Hampton. That was his name. Um, really damn good. 
both of them were amazing in it. Great cast overall. I think overall everyone did great in it and were fantastic. Um, so go check that out. Obviously no spoilers, I guess, unless you specifically know about the fate of Fred Hampton and the Black Panthers. <laughs> it's not a happy story. Um, but it's a really intense drama. And that's kind of all I've seen. I've been watching The Simpsons, but it's The Simpsons. You don't need to really hear more about The Simpsons from me, I guess. And that's uh, I think that's a wrap for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, a, an average, not an average, an actual episode of the Nuzlocke, um, a non-training episode will happen next week. I didn't train them all the way to the level of Grazy because I feel like one Grazy is good enough, but um, we should be fine to start next week and hopefully we'll move on to the next gym. So thanks again very much for watching this video. If you liked it, remember you can leave a like, comment, about any of the things I guess I talked about here and subscribe to me if you want some more. I should really not mention the subscribe part because let me tell you, the only people watching this are already subscribed to me. But anyway, thanks guys. Thanks a bunch. I'll see you guys in the next adventure and hopefully work fucking gives me a damn break. Bye bye.